All right, so welcome to our November team call. I am sorry that our speaker could not join us. Um, I will tell you it's a he, That's all I'm gonna tell you. Um, he had something that was completely out of our control. Oh. And he'll be joining us in December. We have a placeholder right now, but we're not exactly sure of the exact date and time. So as soon as we know it, we will certainly share it. And um, the goal is to get it at least 8.30 or later um, Eastern time so that it works for both Pacific and Eastern people. So we are working on that right now. Um, but I'm excited to be able to kind of come to you guys and talk a little bit about the stuff we have going on the next two months because it was making my brain hurt and I was organizing it. So I can only imagine how you guys are feeling. Um, and we do have someone from the Transform 20 test group that did the first coach test group. There'll be a second coach test group in January for the pre-launch. Um, that will be popping on. I messaged her today. Her name is Brianne, and she will be coming on um, sometime between 9.15 and 9.30 um, to talk to us just for like 10 to 15 minutes to tell us more about the program because she's gone through it. Um, I messaged her today, and I was like, hey, can you pop on? She's like, yeah, no problem. So um, just as soon as she gets on, we'll kind of let her do her piece um, to talk to us about Transform 20. So um, I'm excited. Hey, Katie. One arm McGee over there. You can't wave that arm, only this arm. Um, <laughs> Katie just said surgery. So um, I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about the stuff we have going on. So if anyone is interested in recruiting, we have a five and five challenge. So what we've been doing is having a different sneak peek every single week. Um, and a sneak peek into coaching is like teaching people about what coaches do. They're totally free. If you look on the um, team calendar, which is pinned at the top of the page, it will tell you what the sneak peek was every single week. So the first week it was in a group and we did live videos. The second week we just did like a live webinar. This week we're in the group, but we're back in the group, but we're doing text posts. Next week, I haven't quite figured out what it's gonna be. I think we're gonna do like a, a one hour event where we like post every 10 minutes for an hour in an event, not a group, because next week is Thanksgiving. So I don't want something long and drawn out. Maybe we'll do it like Monday or something. Um, and the week after that, we'll do something different. So like all different formats. So if you recruit five coaches in five weeks, um, you get an, you get obviously paid on whatever the pack they get. And you also get a hundred dollar bonus. So that is sort of the goal there. Now you can also recruit five coaches in one week and get that hundred dollar bonus. So don't feel like you're behind if you haven't started yet and your goal is to recruit. So that is the first thing we have going on. The second thing, which actually um, Claire and Chelsea and Anna, and Steph, I can't remember if you were in there too, we were talking about doing this walk in water challenge. And I was really like hesitant to do it next week because it's Thanksgiving and everyone's so busy. But Chelsea brought up a really good point. She's like, it's so simple for people. They just have to walk and drink water. They don't have to like, not have a second helping of turkey or forego the stuffing, right? So we are gonna be doing it next week in the free um, Healthy Living and Accountability group. It is also on the team calendar. Um, basically, the goal is that they need to walk 10,000 steps a day in whatever tracking device they wanna use, their phone, some sort of fancy Fitbit, Apple, whatever, um, and drink half their body weight in ounces of water with a minimum of 64 ounces. So if they weigh less than 128 pounds, they still need to drink 64 ounces of water. They weigh 150 pounds, you could be 75 ounces of water. Um, 200 pounds, 100 ounces of water. Really, really, really simple. And it's a really great way to talk to people and be like, hey, we're doing this totally free challenge. You don't have to like give up anything Thanksgiving. Um, you can just, you know, try to drink more water and move more. And I bet you they will see that they're not going to gain the normal weight that they gain over the holiday, which I think would be a really cool outcome for them to have. Does anyone have any questions on that? Wait, do you have anything to add? Um, not on that one. No, I think it's an awesome idea. And I, Claire, I agree. I think it'll be great over Thanksgiving. So, Chelsea, uh, but Claire will Chelsea, take Sorry. See, <laughs> see name. Um, um, yeah, I was like really hesitant, but they were like, no, I think it's good. I'm like, all right. So we're going to give it a shot next week. Um, really simple posts, you guys like, Hey, I'm doing a free challenge to drink more water and move 10,000 steps a day. Anyone want to join me? Like, don't overthink it. 
Um, I'm going to ask that if you add people in there, that you go in there every day and post something about the benefits of drinking water or walking. Like you can Google that stuff super easy. I have a template that I'll be using. So there'll be like set posts every day. So you don't have to worry about that, but you should go in and kind of um, buffer it up if you will. So um, it's always a, probably one of our more, I do it like probably once a year. It's probably our more, po more, more, one of our more popular challenges. The other free challenge I usually do is a crockpot challenge. Probably I'll do it in January this year. Uh, and people love it. You can also do seven day Shakeology jump starts with the walk and water challenge. Does anyone know what that is or doesn't know what that is? I should ask. Mm, do to do. Okay. Well, I'm going to explain it. Um, just in case people don't know what it is. And are you sleep over there, killer? <laughs> She's like, uh, <laughs> so no, I'm awake. I'm like, I'm, I'm relaxed, but I'm awake. Good. Okay. So uh, Anna actually did a Shakeology jump start, so she could probably explain it. Um, so basically it's where people purchase seven days of Shakeology and um, you can either put it together a pack for them. So I have an extra box of Shakeology I get every month under Doug's account. Um, and you can put together the pack for them and send a priority mail. <clears throat> I will post the link um, on how I do that. Um, when Whitney talks at some point, I'll go in and grab it. Um, and, or if you don't have any extra Shakeology on hand, no big deal. They can go and order a seven day sampler pack, either the regular or the vegan. I prefer to put together the packs myself because then I can put together whatever flavors the person wants and I can send like a little note with it and make it all cute. And by cute, I mean like Jillian level of cute, which is like most people's <laughs> level of <laughs> not cute. Not cute at all, but I try. Um, but if you don't have any on hand, no big deal. Don't be like, oh, I don't have any on hand. I can't do it. You can always ask them like, hey, are you interested in like purchasing a week and seeing how you do? And it's a really, really great way to get people started so they understand kind of what Shakeology is and how it works and how it can really pr provide the nutrition of a meal and not just be a protein shake. So um that I do recommend offering those with your free groups, like really simple. When people say yes, like, oh, do you want to join us with or without a Shakeology Jumpstart? And if they say without, like, just pop them in, like, don't, you know, whatever. But if they say what's Shakeology or with or whatever, you can like open a conversation with them. So I do recommend using the Jumpstart kits for sure. Um, I think they're a great way to get people started. So um, that's the the first two things, so the five and five challenge, the um, the walk and water challenge starting on Monday with an optional Shakeology Jumpstart kit, um, and then we will rock into the Black Friday sale. Whitney, do you want to talk about that? Sure. So every year we have, Beachbody does a Black Friday sale, but of course it's starting way before Black Friday like everybody else does now. Um, and the one thing about these sales is that stuff goes real quick, especially the stuff that like everybody wants. Um, so it starts on the 20th at 10 a.m. Pacific. Um, and our group, we're going to run a separate group for it that Jillian's already got going. And um, the link to the page is in the team page. Um, and if you need help finding it, let us know. But bop into that group and you can start adding people into there. Soon, Jill. I'm not going to post about it yet, but I'm like sending out emails about it to my customers. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously these deals are for coaches too, but um, you definitely want to let people know about them. I recommend if you're still pushing hard for success club, not to like blast the Black Friday stuff quite heavy yet. Um, because it is obviously still super good deal with the packs being 20% off right now. And we will um, talk about that in the Black Friday deal because that is good enough to be a Black Friday um, sale. Sale. Yeah, absolutely. Get on. No, Sarah. Okay. I just want to make sure as soon as Brianne gets on that we... And we don't have the list of what stuff will be yet, but as soon as we know, you guys will know. Um, and... Yeah. And you get yeah. your additional 25% off. So you still get your discount on it. Um, so it's going to run similar to the way we ran our, um, help me out. Fitness. 
pit miss, but there's no like extra incentive. It's just like, these are the prices, but we'll like kind of sporadic the post throughout the day, but we can't create a template until we know it's on sale. And I think Whitney, I said Friday, right? We'd know. Yeah. I think they're supposed to tell us on the 16th. Um, and you can also share cart this stuff with your people. Mm. So, um, which I recommend too, because once it's in that, it's theirs, I believe. I don't know. I think they have to check out. Okay. Well then they need to hurry. Cause I'm literally like telling you guys and coaches go ape. So, cause they get their extra 25% off, especially like on the apparel and stuff. So you want to just, we'll, we'll be keeping it updated and letting people know what stuff is, but you want to keep in touch with your customers and make sure they get what they want. So the, the group is open. It's the same group as we did for the fitness sale. I'm all about easy. So I did not open a whole new group and maybe your fitness people, fitness people will see it right from August and buy something can't hurt. Um, so you can just tag them in the welcome post as you add them. So they know like what's going on and it just goes over like when the sale is and what's going on. So that will run next week. And then we're going into uh, fitness. <laughs> fitness, but it's actually going to be fitness and not fitness in August. It'll be a real fitness. <laughs> it's going to be a real fitness and it'll start December 2nd. Um, and so that will like happen after the Black Friday sale, after this crazy sale. I just want to watch for Brianne. Um, after this crazy sale that we have this month. And um, Mer fitness is like we do like gift cards back for people. And you, if your person buys something, your person, you'll be responsible for that gift card. We've just been telling people Amazon. Um, you can't give cash back, but you can give gift cards back. No big deal. So the fitness stuff is posted in the team page as well, like the outline for it. And after next week, after we get through Black Friday, I'm going to start asking for volunteers between like the 28th and the 31st to get to, to sign up for slots so you can do your post about fitness and what it what it is. So basically the way that it works is there's like a welcome so every day is like a different product. There's like a day of Shakeology, day of Daily Sunshine, Beach Bars, On Demand, Performance Line. Uh, we did an Ultimate Reset and Three Day Refresh Day. And the, there's like a post a, a post about this is what's on sale today. Ring the bell. And when the person buys it, they tag their coach and ring the bell. And then throughout the day, other people go in and talk about the products and what they do. And then we move on to the next product. And that's how it works. Like it's, it's going to be eight days of fitness. How many days of Christmas are there? 12. Is that 12. the 12 days of Christmas? Maybe we should do 12 days of fitness. That seems really long. <laughs> <laughs> Whitney doesn't like fitness that much. Okay. I feel like eight days is cool. Okay. It's a week ish. Who did it? Katie, you did it last time, right? Did you like it? What did you like? What would you change? You mean from August? Mm-hmm. I I I got a lot of a lot of quick sales on that. Um, even repeating customers who did like three separate purchases, ironically. Um, I liked it. It was I didn't get any like necessarily challenge packs out of it, but okay. people were buying things they wanted to try for a long time. Mm, so, okay. So good volume and stuff. Coaches that got challenge pack sales from it too, and other things for volume, like Katie said. But I know Sarah had our successful fitness. Rachel Forgresso had a super successful fitness. So. Sarah, what worked well for you? When you're, when you're thinking about revenue making, this is the perfect opportunity for Christmas gifts. Like mm -hmm. doing the first week of December you're going to get lots of trickle from it. Um, and, you know, if we're here to make money and not necessarily to, uh, you know, have all the accolades, it's helpful. Super helpful. That's um, I loved fitness. I, people love sales, man. It, like, yes, what we do is worth every penny we pay for it, but people love to see things flash on sale and get bundled and whatever. Um, and I think Christmas is a good time to do it, obviously. Cool. People are spending money on a lot of things. So so I just posted the doc to how to run a jump start in there. Let me post the doc for fitness so that people can look at it that have no idea what we're talking about. You guys, please ask lots of questions or else we don't know where you're stuck or what you need. 
what questions do you have? There's got to be questions at this point. We just like word vomited like crazy on you. That's fitness. Yeah, there's a lot, but it's all goes hand in hand and it'll go together and, you know, one after the other. So um, obviously Black Friday and the water challenge are kind of going to overlap, but they're totally different things and in different groups. Um, when we first learned about fitness, it was from um, Trina Gray and she did it in December, in the beginning of December. And it was huge for her team for Christmas and for holiday. And they made money for their Christmas gifts. Like they were stoked and it helps them bust through the beginning of the year. I um, mean, she, it did really well. So I'm excited to do it in December. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So basically it's, we're just going to like feature our products and talk about them. Cause a lot of people don't even know, like someone said to me today, Oh, you have a different something consumable that's not Shakeology. And I was like, yeah, there's a lot of things consumable that are in Shakeology. So it just shows like people don't necessarily know that. So we're going to talk about it and we'll have people sign up for slots. Like I want you guys to actively participate. I think that's going to be really, really helpful for you. Um, and then we will go into what will be a Transform 20 um, sneak peek. So we're trying to like fit the fitness sale in before Transform 20 goes on sale because that I think it will be $20 off in December. I think so. I mean, it'll definitely be at somewhat of a discount and I think it's $20 off. It'll be real interesting to see us fighting over these steps, guys. Oh my gosh. Have you reserved it? Get your success club point. Buy <laughs> it. Crazy. Hi. The step thing is going to be nuts. What are they going to be like 20 bucks to buy anyway? I don't I care. Know. I got my success club points. So I'm excited. <laughs> um, last year, for those that weren't here, I'm looking around, Jill had just started. Katie was definitely around. Steph wasn't. Um, 80 day obsession, everything went on back order and it was crazy yeah. <laughs> about their slides man but then like shakeology went on back order and performance line so they're trying to have that not happen carl has joked that like they've bought every step out of every home depot but it's not really that funny so we're gonna hope that we just don't have a disaster the fact we're that they're doing the reserve thing means they're they're scared <laughs> right but also what we were told, so last time what they did was if, if a piece of a pack wasn't available, they held the entire pack until that piece was available. They're not doing that this time. So like if you are waiting for your step, they'll send everything out and send your step when it becomes available, which is good because last time they didn't do that. So and you want to get in on top of this launch, um, especially for December. And then that will all trickle into your January. I remember the launch, the 80 day was really big for me in December, but it was even bigger for me in January. Um, so you definitely want to make sure you're adding people to the sneak peek and really making, you know, inviting like crazy because this is Shanti's first program in a really long time. And as you know, he is huge all over. Um, and now we have the UK too, and Shanti's huge in the UK. So this launch is going to be great just letting you know. So take advantage. Yeah. Sean hasn't had, he had size, but before that he hadn't had a fitness program since max 30, which was like, I think we calculated four years ago with. Yeah. And then he just had Sean week. Yeah. Which was that good. Wasn't. Um, and for those of you that are interested, I'm going to start T25 on Monday. I counted out and we can fit in our eight weeks before January 14th. So I've got two chats going one for people that want to do it with the business. So we're going to like talk about business strategy and how to use T25 to get people interested in transform 20, which I need to call not call T20 because then it's going to get real confusing. Um, and one for people that just want the accountability. So, um, it's really cool. I'm, I'm, I would say I'm excited, but I don't think I liked T25 the first time. So we'll see if I like it the second time. But I feel like if I can do t like by showing people that you can get results in 25 minutes a day, like it'll be an easy transition to show them they can get results in 20 minutes a day. When T25 came out, it was ridiculous, like absurd. And it was, wasn't it like 220? The pack was like 220 bucks, Whitney. Yeah, because I that's what I um, first got as a challenger before I was a coach, and I didn't get the pack because I couldn't afford it. And it's still, I still think I paid like one twenty just for the DVDs. Yeah, it was a really expensive pack. Um, it was a really really big program, 
um, cause we hadn't had anything below 30 minutes at that point. The only 30 minute workout they had was P90X3. P90X3 was after T25. Oh, never mind. So maybe they didn't have anything that was short. Cause they had all, remember like Beachbody had Insanity and P90X, which were all like 60 minutes ish. So this was like the first revolution was T25. So um, the workouts look cray. If you guys have seen the videos, I'm like going to go flying off my step and kill myself. I'm, I'm scared. Pretty... I'm going to break my neck. But um, I think it'll be good. I, we don't have an outline yet for the sneak peek, but in our sneak peeks, we just kind of like talk about what they are, talk about how to get in. They'll do an exclusive coach test group. So it's a great way to get people signed up as coaches because they get to be in a test group with Sean, which is always super fun. Um, I heard he's been great in the this coach test group. Like he's been doing the workouts with them live, like almost on the reg. So in okay. tights. Wait, what? I hear he wears like tights, like just like compression tights and no shorts. Like over. Peter Pan? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. <laughs> just imagine the conversations I heard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and there will be a modifier. Um, I don't know who it is, but yeah. And Brianne should be hopping up soon and telling us more about T Transform 20. I need to not say T20. It's going to really confuse me. So what questions do you guys have? Five and five, walk and water, Black Friday, fitness. Yes, Sarah. Sorry. I just, I forgot to message Jillian and Dana. I just got my second out of five. Tonight. Oh, yay. I think Brianne just popped on. But she and I... I hesitate to say this out loud, but I also think that means I got my diamond back. So I'm excited. Yay! That's awesome. All right. So woman of the hour. Look at you looking all pretty, Brianne. Oh, no. Oh, that's the light. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> that's, still, that's why these ring lights are like the best investment ever. Because I've been running around like a lunatic all day. Um, and I was like, I hope these people don't realize that I probably look homeless. But... The light no, level. you don't like homeless. Look pretty Whoever good. just got their diamond back, congratulations. I heard that. It's Yay. been a hard year for everybody, so good for you. Oh, more Thank of you. you. Yes. Good. Awesome. All right, so Brienne has um, saved my tushy today when I messaged her in a panic and was like, ah, speaker canceled. Can I get you your help? And she was like, yeah, I'll just pop on. So she was in the Transform 20 or is. Are you guys done? Um, some people did not do a second round. Okay. Um, I am sort of half doing a second round. I'll kind of explain why, but some, a lot of people are doing a second round because last week they filmed, um, some hybrid workouts with weights. So when it releases, I don't know exactly how the calendar is going to go. We have one calendar that, you know, we followed that's part of like the material, you know, we have like the confidential, it was like the program materials. And then I don't know if this was like an afterthought that Sean was like, this needs weights. Um, so there are, um, he filmed six weighted workouts, um, two for like each block of two weeks. Um, so we're doing those for the people who wanted to do a round two, you can either do the regular one, you can do the hybrid. Um, so. There's a bunch of us that are doing round two. Okay, cool. So um, we were just talking about kind of our calendar and we're kind of going into December. We're going to do a fitness group similar. Did you do a, a fitness in August or something like that, like a splash sale? So we're going to do one at the beginning of December before the Transform 20 packs launch. And then we're going to do a Transform 20 sneak peek. And that's where we were, where I'd love to hear from you, like about your, what, I don't know what you can tell us. I feel like we're all kind of like, we don't know what's going on, but if you can like share whatever with us about the, the program, that'd be really helpful. Yeah. I mean, I'm happy to share whatever it was kind of, um, it was difficult this time to be honest. I did the shift shop test group last year. I know Whitney did it with me and, um, I feel like we only had to be silent for like a week. Yeah. And then like, it really was not, we were not really restricted as far as like what we could share. There are basically like, you can't share what's printed in the meal plan and your videos can't be more than like two minutes. Like we had like no restrictions. And this time first it was like, we couldn't say anything for like till after leadership, which we we're like, fine. It's like two weeks. And then they were like October. 
15th and then they were like October 22nd and then they were like yeah you can't see anything until November 1st and I was like but that's basically like the end of the first round so it was super difficult I felt like to sort of be able to kind of like still share like my workouts and my meals and like all that stuff um so once we were cleared to share it I honestly think all of us were like whatever we're just gonna tell a coach like whatever you guys want to know we'll just tell you uh, I don't know that I'm supposed to be saying that, but, um, yeah, I mean, I, um, was super excited for it. I, T25 was the first program that I did like start to finish after I signed up. I was a coach for like six months when it came out. Um, that release, like I was like a brand new baby diamond when they announced it. And that release like blew up my business. I signed up so many coaches and literally that launched in July. I rode that launch for like four months until X3 came out. Like if you guys haven't been around, if you guys weren't around for like the max 30 launch or even size, like nobody launches a program like Sean. And I swear you could have him being like, Oh, I'm going to wake, make a workout. And it's going to be like him standing there trying to like juggle knives and people will still buy it because it's Sean. <laughs> um, but I really felt like, um, this was something that was completely different. Um, and I feel like these days it's hard to get something that feels completely different. And I had everybody asking like, what would you compare it to? And I was like, I it's kind of like if you took max 30 and T25 and they had like a baby on crack and then you give them a step. Um, it's super, super fast paced. So I will tell you guys, my biggest hurdle with it is the fact that like, well, my calves were super sore from the step for the first like four days. So if you, any of you think that you're going to go into this without energize or recover, it's not, it's not going to happen. Like there's, there's no way. Um, I more so had difficulty with it because I kept having to stop, not because I was in pain, but because I literally couldn't, like I literally was like <gasps> trying to like catch my breath because it moves so fast. Um, which was great because from week to, from week one to week two, I was like, I was amazed at how fast, like, um, my endurance really improved. Um, they'll talk about like transformers, which is basically like a way to measure, um, like your progress from week to week. So there's three moves that you'll do like every Monday or whatever, or every Tuesday. And you'll do them week over week and you'll track them. So you can sort of see how, like how you do week over week. Um, so that was really cool to sort of be able to track your progress. Cause I was like, even if you feel like you're dying and you see that you did better than last week, it was a great way to be like, Oh wow. Okay. Like something, even if I don't feel it, something's working, like something's doing what it's supposed to do here. Um, it goes super fast, super fast. And for me, that's perfect because I know so many of you are so busy. So many of you are moms, so many of you have jobs, like everybody's got shit to do and 20 minutes, like it's in, it's out. I'm drenched. I don't like to work out for an hour. I don't like slow moving workouts. I don't like workouts where there's a ton of breaks. I just want to get in and get it done and have it be over with. Um, so I really liked it. There is, um, people that are using all different levels of the step. Um, so there are some people that have, the step will come at the step, and then there's two sets of risers. Um, I made the mistake of trying to use them, all of them on the first workout. I used just the step for the next four weeks. Um, but you'll see people that have all, all the risers on, you'll see people that have none, you'll see the modifier doesn't even use a step, so if somebody's like, well, I travel a lot, it's fine. You don't need it. Um, you don't need the step to get a great workout in. If it's somebody who's like, I travel a lot and I don't want to put this thing in my suitcase. Um, or somebody who is sort of working up to that level of their fitness, they can opt to start without it. They can opt to do just like certain moves without the step. Uh, but I really... I mean, I really enjoyed it. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to love it, but I was like, sure, like I'll try it. Um, 
get because they have cardio, that. but it was something for me that I, um, I really enjoyed. Um, so I don't know. What do you guys want to know about it? Does anyone want to unmute and ask a question? Um, at, like anything that anyone wants? If you don't know anything about the program, you can just ask something really simple if you want something really detailed. Oh, can you talk about the nutrition plan? Or just what? gonna ask that. Yes. Meal plan, please. So, okay. So there is a meal plan. It has the containers. Um, I'd be 100% honest with you. I don't even know what it looks like. Uh, that sounds terrible. Um, it container wise, it's very comparable to um, the shift shop plan. I would say um, because I felt like shift shop out of all the other programs had the um, the least amount of purples and the most amount of yellows. Um, so I sort of feel like that is similar. Um, they gave us the option to do to be mindset with this, mm -hmm. um, which is what I did and. I did it for a couple reasons. Um, a, I think the containers are fantastic. Um, I think they work for a ton of people. I cannot stand to do container math. It drives me crazy. Like to try to figure out what I'm eating and take stuff with me. I do intermittent fasting. I've done intermittent fasting for years. Um, so to try to figure out my containers and what I'm taking and a million things, um, and I don't eat fruit. Not because I don't, not because I think it's bad for me. I just don't eat it. I'm not a big fruit person. Never have been. Um, I prefer veggies or I prefer like an extra shake, um, or a beach bar or something like that. So, um, when I have to sort of feel like I have to force that fruit into me, um, I never really, I don't feel good with it. Um, it doesn't make my body feel good. Um, so I opted to just be like, okay, great. I'm going to do it with 2B and let's see what happens because I really wanted to, um, in all honesty, more so than being like, if I stick with the containers and I'm a hundred percent perfect, I will have a super incredible transformation. I really wanted it to be like, okay, I'm crazy busy. My kids are in school. I'm traveling. We have leadership. We have Halloween. There's a million things going on. Um, my husband had surgery week five of the test group. So let's do to be, and let's see how this sort of fits in with real life. So I flew to Vegas. We were at leadership. We had wine. We had like, actually had like, you know, we went out to dinner and we had, you know, normal food. I had cake for a birthday. Um, kids, my kids are like obsessed with Chick-fil-A. Um, so it was kind of like, let me do this in real life and sort of see how this works. And I loved it that way. Um, because I felt like I didn't have that added stress of trying to make sure that everything was perfect all the time. Um, and it still felt sustainable. Like it still felt sustainable to say like, okay, I have my shake every day. Like all the things that I normally do, um, but to be able to only to eat the foods that I like to eat with it, which for me is more veggies. Um, I tend to do well, my body tends to do better with um, a higher percentage of carbs than what the meal plans usually say. Um, a higher percentage of carbs and a higher percentage of fat. Um, so it was nice to be able to say like, this is how I know my body is going to feel fed as I'm doing these workouts. Um, so I opted to do that. And I think a lot of people did, um, there were a handful of, I don't want to say newer coaches, but coaches that are not in the round table that I know did the nutrition plan, like to the T. Um, and then the ones of us that were in the round table were probably split. I would say 50, 50, like half of us did the containers and half of us did like, I guess you could call it to be mindset. It was really like, I'm eating how I'm comfortable eating for my goals. Um, and to sort of be able to feel like you had more control over your nutrition, um, than in the, uh, than in past um, groups. 
Um, how are the results from to be compared to containers on a whole? Honestly, I don't know. I mean, I ate from to be mindset. Um, in six weeks, I lost um, seven and a half pounds and I lost about six inches. Um, I also, the last two weeks, um, super heavily modified probably half the workouts. Um, during like day three of the test group, I was, um, my doctor found a pretty severe, um, umbilical hernia. So I'm going in to have it fixed in a couple weeks. Um, but she, I was basically like, it never bothered me before. I'm fine. And she's like, I don't really know that you should be continuing to work out. And I was like, well, I don't know how long I've had it. It never bothered me before. And she's like, well, then just do what you can if it's never bothered you before. Um, I never did a Shanti program with that before. So by week four, week five, doing abs with Shanti, I was in a, I was decently uncomfortable. Um, so I started to sort of modify as best as I could. And I was like, wow, I feel like even if I didn't, like even with modifying, I was like, wow. I mean, I definitely noticed a difference in how I felt. I noticed a difference in my endurance. Um, I noticed a difference in my butt. Um, I feel like everybody had got like a nice little booty lift from the step, mm -hmm. um, which was great. Um, I am not a cardio fan and Brittany Leggett actually posted about it. And she was like, you, like, when you carry a booty like this, cardio is not your friend. Like you don't want to be swinging that thing around doing cardio. So for us, it was great to sort of, I felt like my legs slimmed down. Um, but we had people that had great results with both. Um, and I think it really just, you know, if they were consistent with whatever method they chose, they got results. You know, if you were going to do two B and use that as an excuse to eat crap instead of, you know, eating for your goals and be like, well, I'm in the test group, so I'm following two B. So I'm going to drink my shake, but then I'm going to have like pizza and donuts and cake and like all this crap, like that's not going to work. But if you actually follow the whole plate it thing with to be, you're going to, I mean, you're going to get the results. You know, that's the, that's the program. The program is designed to get your results without the exercise. So then when you add it in, um, you know, you'll notice a huge difference. Yeah, that's a good question. Can I ask a question to clarify that a little bit? Yeah. Um, so like, if you look back at the, the product launches we've had for the past couple of years, um, Quarter Force was focused on um, switching out the colors weeks two, weeks three, and confusing your body as it kicked up in this gear. Mm -hmm. um, then when we got to Shift Shop, you know, you were ramping down the yellows and switching out what you're eating, and it was very focused on that. And then obviously with 80 Day Obsession, which crazy timed nutrition. Um, is this, it seems like it sounds what you're saying is this is more of a fitness program with here are your options for, for nutrition, but the catch isn't in the nutrition. Does that sound right? Um, well, there's no, I am like 19. I'm trying to see if I can pull up my, see if I can pull up my, uh, let me see if I can pull up the nutrition plan and I can at least answer this with a hundred percent certainty because right now it's like 95 it's like with 95 percent certainty that i would say that the well the reason that shift shop ramped up is because the workouts got longer so as the workouts got longer we sort of depleted you of carbs um as you know that ramped up this is a consistent 20 minutes the um moves within the workouts change every two weeks um for the most part, you'll sort of do them in a different order or things like that. Um, but I think it's very much in conjunction designed to work together. I mean, you can't out exercise a, a bad diet. So to say that it's just fitness, I don't know would be accurate. Um, I just think that the meal plan is set up um, differently because um let me see if i can pull this Pete, are you saying that like they are trying to give us more flexible options for eating now 
Yeah, I would think so. I think that's a fair, I would think that's sort of a fair way to, um, I don't know. Okay, is that what you're saying, Katie? Like you're trying to see if they are giving us more flexibility because 80 day obsession was so stringent. I think so. I think it was more of when you think about specifics, you know, Chris went into full details or the nutritionist went into full details of why we change things on certain weeks for shift shop. Mm -hmm. And they did the same thing with core to force. Like there's like, you had to trust the process. And when we were doing that, it was amazing what happened between week three and week four mm -hmm. when you followed the nutrition and when you added the fruit and when you took the fruit away. Um, but then like lift was fantastic, but I wouldn't, I think lift was another one of those that was kind of like, you could choose which one you did because if, as long as you sort of ate healthy, like the diet and the, the, the day to day stuff and then, and the fitness program worked and it was awesome. But I didn't feel like lift four was as much of a focus on, okay, on day four, you're going to do this because this is when your body jumps into overdrive. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, I think that, I think that people want flexibility, which is why yeah. two came to be. Um, and does everyone know the story of that Alana, the reason to be is created because Alana got fired? What? Oh, Brandon, you know that? We were in Mexico and Carl was like, I guess Alana worked for Beachbody like as a consultant. And she kept being like, no, you need to have water first, veggies most. And Carl was like, okay, we're following portion fix, like focus, you know? And he, he was it. like, he, what? She hated it. She hated yeah, it. She was like, this doesn't make any sense. Blah, blah, blah. So he fired her so that she could come create this program. Cause he was like, oh, your program's so freaking great. You're fired. Come back and create it. And we'll see what happens. So that. <sighs> That's how it came to be. But Katie, I, I totally agree with you. I think that um, they're trying to not, I don't want to say like level the playing field, but there are people that don't want to count containers. So if you want to get like the perfect results, and I think they said this for lift four, like, you know, you should follow the meal plan for the workout if you want the best results. But if you want to still get results, but still have some flexibility, then follow something else. Follow what works for you, you know? That's exactly what Chris has said for Proving Grounds, too. And he yeah. was just telling us about it. Um, except he's cutting carbs for his power of I am people. But that's, <laughs> that's more of a container, like, mindset. And, that's, and he wrote it. Like, that's what he does. So, um, I mean, but he's all about to be mindset, too. He just said you definitely need to follow some sort of plan. You can't just count on the fitness. Um, Right. And that's sort of it. Like if you can't say that you're going to follow 2B and then be like, well, I'm going to follow 2B. So there's no food group restriction. So I'm going to eat like shit for six weeks and then complain that the program doesn't work when I don't get results. Like you have to pick something and stick with it. And basically this meal plan, I'm just looking at it now, it's very similar container wise. It's very similar to shift shop 40, 30, 30. Um, which I think a is way more manageable for the majority of people, um, just as a whole. Um, but you also have the option to follow to be, if you feel like you've used the containers that I have a giant, I have a whole team of people who love the containers. My team loves the freaking containers. They they love them. They swear by them. When portion fix thing comes out, they like, they can't wait for it. They love the containers. I like the flexibility of to be mindset. I've got people that eat at different times in my house. I've got, we've got sports, we've got running around, we've got a million things to do. I know where I can go if I'm out that I can grab stuff that's going to fit into to be like to make better choices. I know you know, to have shapes with me, to have beach bars with me. I know kind of how they fit into whatever I'm eating. Um, and I just felt like this was going to work better for me. So if you're somebody who's been following 2B since it came out in May and you've just sort of added in workouts with it, stick with it. It's like, why would you overhaul something that's already working for you? You know, the reason that we have a big part of why we have to be is because when you have somebody who's ready to make this massive change, 
Now you want them to eat their shake, do their workout every day, and then they've got to sit down and meal prep for a week trying to count containers all at once. That's a lot of change. So we start them on the nutrition with 2B, and then you work in the exercise. That's how I brought it into um, my customers and my coaches, is like if you have somebody who really wants to do this and they're so sort of in like deer in headlights by having – to count containers and do all these things and then add in the workouts and then figure out how they're going to do this. And then you've got the performance line and you've got all this stuff. It's too much being thrown at them at once. So if you consistently follow the containers, cool. Follow the containers with this program. If you're somebody who has been following 2B, cool. Follow 2B with this program. If you have sort of fallen off the wagon the last few weeks, cool. Do a refresh. Figure out where you're at. And then go from there. You may take a look at the meal plan and be like, this is cool. This is super manageable. I'm going to try the containers and see how this works. Um, but I do like that they give the options because the ratio of containers, it's flat out not going to work for everybody. It's not going to. And it depends on a lot. So if you feel like you've used the containers in the past and you've gotten results with them, then follow that meal plan when you do transform 20. But if you feel like you like how 2B is working for you, you feel good on it, you like your tracker, you like your water, then go for it. And there's no right or wrong, and that's why they give both options for it. Um, and I don't think, unless somebody specifically stated in their results, I don't think that you could tell the difference from somebody who who did to be with the program to somebody who used the, the containers. Um, everybody had, you know, great results from it. So um, I think you kind of just have to figure out what's going to work for you, um, you know, and go from there. And if you have customers who've had success with to be mindset, you can let them know that, look, they can continue to follow that and add in, add in these workouts. They don't have to try to go from not feeling um, food group restricted to having to figure out how the containers work. Um, because I feel like that would be a hard sell um, for people who are used to that. And that like sort of came into Beachbody with 2B Mindset and have never had an experience with the containers before. Um, I think that would be a hard sell to sort of flip them into a different sort of mindset as far as how their nutrition is going to go. So the fact that they can stick with that and then add this in, um, I think is great. What else do you guys have? Are there any Sean T fans out there? Um, I do have a quick question. Yeah. I mean, obviously this is a Sean T program and he doesn't do anything calmly. Um, <laughs> But is this going to be something that like somebody who's never done anything is going to want to jump in on, or is it going to make them feel more defeated than anything else and be like, what the hell did you make me sign up for? I hate this. Um, I guess, I guess from like a, a marketing standpoint, should we go for people who are already pretty fit as opposed to people who are newly entering the world of fitness? I don't know that I would say I'm pretty fit. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm more accustomed to already, um, you know. You know, I mean, it's hard. Honestly, we have people in the test group who are very overweight. Very overweight. I mean, um, you guys know Jamie, Jamie Phelps, she was in the test group. She did it. And I was like, and that was a big thing for me. I was like, listen, if Jamie can get up every day. I have, I, I cannot say that I am tired. I cannot say my calves are sore. This girl is in there and she freaking works out like 10 o'clock at night. I don't know how any, if I like, I had to do my workout at like one o'clock this afternoon and I was like dead. Um, so the fact that that girl at nine 30 or 10 o'clock at night, she's like, I still have to do my workout guys. I'm going to go do it now. I was like, you know what? You were like, um, we had a lot of people, but Jamie's not the only one. We had a lot of people that had a significant amount of weight to lose. I would say we had a decent amount of people with 50 plus pounds. How much weight did Jamie lose? I don't know. 
Maybe oh, wait, I do know. She posted it. Hold on. Let's see. But she was in Ship Shop, too, right? What? She was in yeah. Ship Shop. Ship Shop. Can you tell? Uh, she's always worked out super late. I don't even get it. I don't know how. She, yeah, she did it in Ship Shop, too. She'd be like, oh, I, you know. Post her videos, and it's like midnight. And you're like, yeah, she'd be like, I just finished my workout. And I'm like, what? She posted it. Wait a minute. Um, I would say she has probably a hundred pounds to lose. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe a little more. Yeah. She's I want to say, where is it? I want to, I'll put her. I think she, I think she lost like 35 pounds. It's amazing. Um, this was week four. I think she lost, I think she lost about 40 pounds. Um, but we had quite a few that lost the, a lot of people lost like, um, I lost like seven and a half. Um, a lot of people lost like between 10 and 15 pounds, which listen, if you're working out 20 minutes a day, like I will take that all day, every day. Those are great results. But we had a decent amount of people who lost like 25, 30 pounds. Um, in the six weeks and we're working on everybody sort of putting together a drive. I know, I think there's a link in the round table finally with all the results in there, but everybody's sort of finally putting all their stuff in. So you guys will have access to, um, to all the results and everything. Um, but as far as like somebody just starting out, you know what? I would tell them that it's only 20 minutes in all honesty. Um, is it hard? Yeah, it's hard. But if you're starting out, anything you do is going to be hard. So, you know, it's pretty badass if they can make it halfway through a Shanti workout having never worked out before. Um, they can not use the step for the first week. They can, you know, go at a slower pace. Um, the nice thing is, is there's no set. Sure, like when Sean comes in and he's like, okay, we're starting this move. He's not going to say, do 20 of them in a minute. You're just gonna do them however many you can until he says, now we're going to this. So there's no like, if you can only do five of them, then do, do five. If you can do 30 of them, then do 30. But there's no sort of like um, cadence to, this is how fast we have to be moving at all times. Of course, on the video, some of them are, but you'll see them. I mean, you'll see them. Some of them stop and catch their breath and you'll see because they're filmed live. So you'll see them all sort of stop, you know, at different points and you'll see him say like, pick it up, pick it up, let's go. Um, but they can always follow Olivia. She's the modifier. She does the whole thing without a step. So if that's how they want to start the first week and get a feel for it, I don't, I don't want to ever tell somebody who really wants to change their life that they can't do something like that's not where I instantly want their head to go is if somebody says to me, I'm ready to do this and I want to do this. I don't want to be like, Hey, great. I've been talking to you for four and a half years and I'm so glad that you want to, you want to do this, but guess what? Mm, this one's not for you. Like, I don't want to be that person. So if you want to do it, you can do it. It's going to be hard, but anything that they try is going to be hard. So if they start and they start slowly, it's better than them not starting at all. So I love that. That's so true. I would not want to be that person to tell them no. Could you imagine? Someone's like, I really want to do this. And you're like, nah. And you'd be like, no, it's too hard for you. <laughs> and that's okay. And that, but that's the thing too, is like when we had that, even with Chip Shy, I know, I don't know if you ran into Whitney, but I did. I mean, I had people that would say like, can I do this? And I would be like, listen, here's my girlfriend, Jamie. If this girl can do it, all y'all can do it. Like, there's no Jamie's, reason. Jamie's the reason my nephew did it. And he was 575 yeah. pounds. Yeah, I remember when you start, like, it, you know, there's really no, there's really no reason why they can't do it. It's going to be hard. They're going to have to stop and catch their breath. But guess what? So are we. Can't do it. If, 
but with an hour workout that long, maybe I'd be like, maybe let's start with max 30 and then move into this. But it's so short that honestly, by the time I'm, I realize that like I'm completely dead, it's over. Um, which is the nice thing about it because you can fit it into literally any time frame that you need to. Um, I was on my stories today. I was locked in here working. It was 10 after one. I have to pick the youngest one up at two o'clock. And I was like, holy crap, it's 10 after one. I haven't got my workout yet. I didn't have time to make energize, get my workout done, make a shake real quick and hop in the car and still be on time to pick him up. So like to be able to just have that tiny little bit of time um, is huge in, you know, in your day, especially if you're somebody who's coming from like 80 day obsession, um, where I felt like all everybody did was work out and eat all day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> did anybody feel like 20 minutes wasn't enough? Did you have any hardcore peeps like that? So here's the thing. So, uh, <laughs> I'm glad that you asked that. I, um, before we started this test group, I had decided like three weeks before that, that I was going to train and run a half marathon. I am not a runner at all. I hate running. If you see me running, you should run too. I literally, I hate running, but I was like, it's something I've never done. I've done a couple of five Ks. I was like, let me like, let's just sign up and do it. Right. Amanda, Dewey and I, we were going to run this half marathon in December together. We had like it all planned out. I was going to train. It was going to be great. And I was like, oh, it's 20 minutes. I could totally still run and do this. And Amanda was like, this is only 20 minutes a day. It's not going to be enough. I'm totally going to do like lift for a couple days a week, get some extra workouts in. Um, by day three, she was like, are you running this week? I was like, no, I'm dead. I am dead. My legs hurt. My calves hurt for the first two weeks. Um, she did not do lift four <laughs> at all. She was like, I'm totally like the first day she was like, I think I'm going to do lift four like Tuesday and Thursday or Wednesday and Friday this week. And I was, and after we did like the second workout, I was like, what do you think? She's like, I did an entire round of insanity to prepare for this. It was of zero help. Like you don't, you really don't need more than those 20 minutes. Like you are drained at the end of it. And I think that was the coolest thing is there were so many of us that I was like, so many of us were like, I'm training for this and I'm still going to run or I'm still going to add in weights or I'm still going to go do like, I'm still going to go do classes. And like the people that had to teach classes, they were like, it, it's exhausting. It's definitely surprisingly enough. Um, it's enough. Like a T25 workout was enough for you. Like you finish that and you're drenched, like your body's down, you're tired. Um, so to have that, um, I think was really good because I had so many people say like 20 minutes is not enough. And I was like, it, believe me, I didn't think it was either, but you're done. Like your body's toast by the time you're done with that. So, um, we all thought it before we started, but I can tell you, nobody thinks it now for sure. Awesome. Thank you. What else do you guys have? I know it's getting late, but if you have any other questions, Brianne will answer them. Is that like way more intense, like on steroids or fairly comparable? To what? I didn't hear the first part of your question. I think um, you're muted. How does it compare to T25? Because I've been doing that one right now. Um, it's been a long time since I did T25. Um, pick up the pace and add a step. Like it's faster. It's faster pace than T25. It definitely is. I would, um, put the pace of it more like max 30. Like it's, it moves very quick. Um, with a step, with a step. <laughs> um, but at the same time, but here's the thing though, I felt like max 30, I have really bad I have tendonitis in my feet. So I have really bad feet. I work out there for all the time, which is awful for you, but it hurts to work out in sneakers. Um, I felt like max 30 was super high impact. And I really, I honestly don't feel like this is super high impact. And I don't know if it's because we have the step that like when you're stepping across the step, it's not like you're like all of your body weight like jumping and there's not as much um, uh, back and forth as far as like 
jumps and burpees. I mean, there's burpees in it. There's things like that in it, but I just didn't feel like it was as high impact as something like max 30 or even the original insanity. Like I didn't feel like there was as much sort of like power jumping, um, involved in it, which there's a fair amount of NT25. So I would say that that's probably different. Um, but I think that the biggest difference is really honestly adding this step into it. Brian, what is your launch plan for it? Are you like focusing on people that like Sean or? Um, I have a big part of my team that loves Sean. So, um, they were the first ones that I was like, Hey, he's got a new program. And then when I got the email for the task group, I was like, focus, like, here's what we're going to do. Like, this is how this is all going to kind of work. Um, so once I got the email that I was going to be in the task group, it was like mid September. So it was early enough that I sort of, um, uh, switched gear. Was it, how was it the end of August? Maybe it was the beginning of September. Um, or it was mid September and I had, had sort of shifted super quick and said, um, we're going to turn the fourth quarter into like all about Sean T. Okay. So it was like the last 90 days of the year with Sean T. And it was basically, they could pick their program. They could sort of go through it. So we've got a bunch of people in there now literally just opened up, um, our launch groups. Um, I put mine together like yesterday. Um, and, uh, we have a whole outline for it. There was like a whole bunch of us that actually were just like, let's all collaborate um, on the topics and how we're going to kind of roll this out. And I'm happy to share the topics with you guys, like how I didn't do them. Jessica Nelson did it. She's like a genius. She was like, Hey guys, here's what I'm doing. And like put all of the units and all of the stuff all in my vein. And then I went and looked at her launch group and she already has like a thousand people in there. And I was like, okay, whatever you're doing, I'm going to go do. Yeah. Um, can you send that to me? Yeah, I absolutely will. Okay. So, and that's kind of what we're doing. Um, it's, Thanksgiving sort of throws a wrench in all of it because the prices and everything come out on Friday, but then we have Thanksgiving and then we have like another week and a half until the launch. Um, what day is it launching? Like the packs? The packs are going to launch December 4th. Oh, oh. yeah. I thought it was later than that. We were told, we were told later. Um, okay. We might need to fix our plan. Yeah. We can okay. we can do fitness with this. We could do it at the same in the same group. Yeah, we can just combine them. I thought it was like the the week after. Okay. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I thought it was the fourth. Hold on. You're probably right. We'll look. They're, they've changed the dates a few times, to be honest. They change everything. Um as of now, my plan is <laughs> For it to be on the fourth. Um, Whitney, we did it with Lefour. We did the Fit Mess in August with the yeah, Lefour. Um, so. At the same time? Yeah. Well, like, yeah. Yeah, I'd say we run it in the same group. Well, we're going to run in the same group. We're going to do it for different weeks. Well, but like at the same time? Oh, yeah. no, it is the fourth because the step promotion is the fourth to the 11th. Okay. So. Okay. Um, I will tell you guys right now, get a success club point. If you don't have one, go get one. So you mm -hmm. can get hands on a step. Okay. Hey, you know what, friends? I'm going to tell you something. I have a step. True story. Because when I had my accident, I could not get in my freaking bed. And I made my husband go buy me, <laughs> mm -hmm. go buy me a step. So I have a sitting in my basement from my accident. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. look at this thing's gonna come in handy. Thanks, Sean. Yeah. Um, when do we know what the packs are gonna look like? That's this Friday. Friday? Okay, good. So that's gonna come out Friday. Um, I, right now, we're sort of focused on like a refresh coming right out of Thanksgiving. Mm. Um, to start the Monday after Thanksgiving. And basically, I'm gonna just hammer everybody that's in there to be like, you've got to like, here's what we're going to do. You're going to do this. We've started sharing transformations. Um, but it's really going to be a lot of, if you're a Sean T fan, um, you know, 
here's what this group is going to look like. If you're busy and you own and you don't have time to work out, it's 20 minutes. Like, and we're just going to continue to hammer that fact, um, that there's, it's such a tiny portion of your day, um, to really sort of get, to get it in. Um, other than that, we don't, I'm, do we, I'm, I put together my TV mindset group literally like 6 PM the day before it launched. I was like, Oh, everybody's doing these. I probably should do something like, like, I fly by the seat of my pants when it comes to this stuff. So the fact that I have a group open before we even have the packs is huge. Um, but it's really just going to be sort of sharing about what it's like. Um, you know, just like you would launch any other program, um, to sort of bring people in. I know that they're going to do a preview workout, um, for people that buy, I guess once the packs launch, like before it comes out in January, like there'll be one or two preview workouts. Um, so you'll have access to that. Um, if you're not doing a refresh, if you're not doing a refresh or anything that week after Thanksgiving before the packs launch, it's super easy to throw together like a free Shanti group, like a Sean week group, mm -hmm. sort of get people yeah. back into it. Um, you know, to sort of bring that into it and sort of let them know, like, now that we're doing this, he's got this brand new program that's coming out. Um, and the workouts are shorter than they are in Sean week kind of thing. Um, so I thought in the, the workout actually launches January 14th, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's a, okay. That's a long time between a long time. Yeah. Cause I think 80 day obsession didn't launch until mid December. And then but they had some sneak peeks and like a little obsessed. Are we going to have stuff like that? Um, we have Sean week, but as far as sneak peeks, I think that the only thing that I wrote, somebody asked him and he was like, oh, there's going to be, um, uh, there's going to be a preview workout. Um, I'm trying to. Interesting. Okay, Whitney, we're going to have to, so guys, we are going to do the Black Friday sale and then we're going to pivot into a fitness sale that's somehow going to include Transform 20. So I think that'll work well, actually. Yeah, we're just hang on to your britches. Cause we're I mean, a great thing for you guys to do, especially those of you who haven't hit Success Club yet, which is sort of what I talked to my team about, because I was kind of going back and forth on when I was going to open this group because I didn't want to take away from... Mm -hmm my team pushing in November to hit success club because the packs are on sale. So we obviously don't have the prices yet. I'm pretty sure Kim said the 16th, which is Friday. Um, so what I said to them was, look, you have two options. You can wait until you hit success club for this month and then come and then start bringing people into the launch group, or you can use the launch group to sort of help leverage it. And the way that you could leverage it is get them in with the all access pack because it's 140. Mm -hmm. find them as a coach so that next month when transform 20 comes out they can just do the bundle add-on and they'll get it at the discounted price it's probably going to work out to pretty much the same money give or take five bucks and i don't know what my team would do i would personally do some sort of like but like like be the first to like be the first to commit to it with a pack in november to upgrade in December and do like a giveaway or a bonus or something. Um, and then the other thing that they have on top of that is if they're already signed up as a coach, once they sort of start sharing that they bought this pack, then it sort of snowballs. They can get their friends in to do it with them. Um, so that's sort of how I've been explaining it to them if they really want to, cause I don't want them to say like, Oh, I'm not going to work at all in November so that I can start working on the fourth when these packs come out. Like, no, they're on sale now. So let them get in now. Um, kind of thing. Um, I think it's hard. I think it's hard to sort of do stuff like this around the holidays. Um, but I think as the excitement builds, um, you'll get, it'll sort of, it'll sort of grow. Um, plus Sean's going to do a group. He's going to do a coach test group, um, which 
I mean, my God, they sign as a coach, they're going to get into Sean's test group. I mean, for his fans, that's like bigger. That's bigger than I think it's bigger than Autumn. Um, Cause he usually doesn't do stuff like that. So I think that that's sort of like a great thing. So they'll have that to look forward to. Um, and there'll be a deadline on that. So they'll have to get the pack in December, I think, to do the test group with him. Um, and there was something else I was going to say. I totally lost it. I don't know. Um, but I think, um, you know, I think with Sean, people love him. So if you guys are Sean T fans and people know that you're Sean T fans, they're going to know it's coming. And this is a great way to sort of really um, kind of pivot and leverage all of that. And if coming you have up. never done a Sean T program, a bunch of us are starting T25 on Monday because we have exactly eight weeks before transform 20. Long comes out. And that's my favorite one, to be honest. Like I liked that better than max 30. I loved T25. Um, so I hated I, Max 30 and I hated T25 a little bit less. So does that count? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, I'm going to do Sean Week. Well, I'm going to do Sean Week. No, I mean, I, I think, I think it's good. And I think like, if you say it's even shorter than 25 mi minutes, people are going to be like, what, how, you know? So it's super fast. Like, I was like, how is this going to be? Like, what am I going to feel like after 20 minutes? And um, when we started doing them, they were um, 1130 central time here in the morning. And there was no counter. There was no like timer on the workouts. And I'd be like, I had to have been at this for like 18 minutes already. And it would be like 1139. And I'd be like, <laughs> But then, it's, but then, it, but then that second half went so fast that all of a sudden he would be like, "Okay, like we're on to the last transformer." And I'd be like, "Oh my god, this is the last move of the workout! Like it's done." Um, so it goes by super quick, um, which I like because there's no like how Max Thirty had no breaks. There's no breaks in this. It's not like T twenty five where you had a little bit of downtime here and there to sort of um, grab a drink of water or anything. Um, cool. For me. Hold on, my husband is getting the dogs. Um, okay. What else do you guys have? Anything? Is everyone pooped asleep? That was really helpful. Thanks, Bran. Super. Oh, helpful. you're so welcome, guys. I'm happy to help. Yeah, thanks for popping on and saving my life earlier. I no problem. Um Cool. Okay. Well, um, we're going to pivot a little bit on our, but just know next thing coming up is our Black Friday sale starting a week from Monday. No, Monday. 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 No, the 20th. It starts yep. on the 20th. Yep. And so we'll know the sales on Friday. Yeah. Cool. All right. I'll get this recording up in just a minute. If you guys have any questions, let us know. Yeah, and if you guys have any other questions, honestly, like just feel free to ask. Um, but I think that the drive or whatever is up in the round table for photos. Um, but actually, if you guys are big on Insta stories, I know some of you are. But um, Megan Blinka, she's a freaking genius. She did this cute little template for like all of us that can go right into your Insta stories. So there's a whole bunch of us that are putting like, like our before, our after, our story, like mom of three, super busy, doesn't have time to work out, likes to eat tacos, like all this. And then like- Wait, where is this template? Is it in the round table? No, she put it in our test group. So it's like, as we sort of put them all together, we're going to put them in the drive. So like you guys all have, so they're basically cut to look like your- and story. Sorry, pull it up. And can you um, send me your sneak peek template? I absolutely will. Yeah, for sure. Um, and I don't have any information in there yet, but as Jessica posted and I take it, I will gladly send it over. Um, 
So there's been a whole bunch of us that are sort of just collaborating on putting all the information in one spot so that awesome. it's easy to just kind of share so that if you, you want to do one or your coaches want to then run their own, everything's all sort of like in one spot. Um, but yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Awesome. Cool. All right, guys. Thank you, Brianne, again. Of course, um, no problem. We're going to pop off. And if you guys have any other questions about it, just let us know. Awesome. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye.